Yeah, this is uh, Carlos again, and uh, I'm the guy that always loves to shop at Mobility Scooters Direct with Dustin, and you'll see why in a moment. The reason I'm doing this video is a, a, basically a 10-month uh, review of my Revo Pride uh, 2.0. And as you can see, it's really decked out as now my, uh, my fishing machine. And uh, I'm a Salt Strong fishing member. Anyway, the reason uh, that I like this machine so, so much, it's basically uh, very well made. If you live in a condominium, this is the machine uh, for you. It's small, it's compact, you can take it in the car, the seat will come out, uh, the batteries come out, uh, the motor will be separated from the uh, rest of the uh, chassis, if you would. Uh, this will fold down. It will easily uh, fit in a car. The basket is removed. And again, the reason that I, that I chose this is that for condominium, it will fit in the smaller condominium uh, elevators. And uh, this is a good choice. And also if you need to transport it back and forth. Having said that, uh, I'll uh, give you a couple of the uh, cons. It does have suspension. If you're going to use it, for inside the house, it's probably good. I'll try to get underneath here. You can see on the front tires, it has two of the little leaf springs. And in the back, bear with me. And Dustin, I'm basically bending down here to give everybody a good video of this. There's one suspension that goes to the uh, rear axle. That's all fine and good. And here's my critique. If you're going to use this to be going on the sidewalks, it's rough. The tires, and this is a suggestion uh, for the uh, Revo engineers if you're listening. These tires are solid tires. Again, uh, they're not going to puncture. However, that does not mean that they're not vulnerable. All I do is ride these on the sidewalk. Let me show you what happened. This is the victim of the sidewalk. I don't know what I went over. This is just a normal sidewalk in Sunny Isles Beach. This had to be replaced at a cost to me of $100. I also have the Africum C3. This is the 2019 model. I also purchased stuff from Mobility Direct. They have pneumatic tires. Makes a world of difference when you have pneumatic tires to take bumps on the road. So I suggested that the Revo, at the very least, come with an option to have pneumatic tires. There's very uh, good uh, puncture sealants. Uh, I personally use Armadillo's. It's a military grade uh, sealant. I'll add a link on that. And you can very easily, uh, again, if you get a, a small puncture, uh, replace the, uh, anyway, you won't need to replace it because it'll, it'll just basically plug it up. Again, why pneumatic tires? On this one, I had to replace the tire because of the laceration. Granted, even with armadillos, I would have had to replace the tire. But in the worst case scenario, if you get a flat, it's a lot less expensive to change an inner tube than to change a whole tire. So Rewo, if you're listening, give us the option to have pneumatic tires on your machine. Another critique. Look at the girth on the seat on the Revo 2.0. Now I'm going to swing back around. Look at the girth on the seat on the African. I'm 6 feet, 180 pounds. This is plenty wide, plenty wide. So my suggestion would be the next time you design one of these Revo, make that seat just a little narrower, like this Africa. It's gonna fit in the elevators a lot better. Uh, some of the features that I do like uh, uh, on the Revo, again, uh, I, I put an optional cell phone holder. Uh, you have a USB charger where the cell phone will charge.
for the cell phone aficionados, this is my old iPhone 5. The only reason I have it up here is so I can pull things up on it. And I'm going to show you here uh, the Mobility Scooters Direct uh, website as soon as it loads. In the meantime, uh, I also put a, a bicycle light for high visibility. And on Africa, I put a cell phone holder here. But as you see, the mirror, uh, I had to take off. The good thing is, guess what? If you own an Africum, the mirror on the Africum will fit the slot in the mirror of the Revo. So now I have the Revo uh, and Africum paired with, uh, with the mirrors, which is, uh, which is just great. And then uh, what I'm doing is I'm pulling up on the web page here the, uh, the Revo 2.0. Okay, here it is. Basically, the, the one we're looking at here, my machine, you get a max speed of five miles an hour, 12 mile range, 400 pound uh, weight capacity. Again, we saw the USB charger, heaviest piece is 48 pounds. And again, they're selling these for $16.99. Okay, uh, I'll give you the link uh, where you can contact Dustin if you wanna buy these. Again, if you're in a condominium and if you wanna deck these things out for fishing, uh, this is the, the one for you. Uh, that's about it on my 10 month review. It's really been a, a good machine. Again, uh, if uh, the manufacturers at Pride could give us the option for the pneumatic tires and make this seat just a little narrower, like the Africa. Now, this is a much more expensive machine. And again, you wonder why do I have both? Well, in the condominium, this will only fit in the cargo elevator, which during the week is busy with uh, recyclers and the contractors and uh, this this will not fit in the four main elevators but guess what this one will so if you live in a condo this is the one for you and i'd also highly highly recommend uh, if you're going to buy these uh, before you even buy it online go out and test ride one because then you'll find out how hard these shocks are you know uh, how they take the uh, the bumps on the uh, pavements uh, versus uh, go ahead and, uh, and go all out. This, this is by far the top of the line. If you really want to get the best made, uh, it's made in Israel, the Africum, this is the C3. Uh, they have the four-wheel version. This is the top of the line. This is the best. Anyway, I'm fortunate enough to have both. Uh, this is my fishing machine. I love it very much. I'm glad I, I purchased it. Uh, I'm able to, uh, to access uh, the elevators with it and uh, Hopefully this video and review will help and uh, will help guide the uh, manufacturers as to what the customers are thinking about their products. You really do make a great machine uh, for all the folks at, uh, at Pride Mobility.